Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. This will officially be my first tutorial video, so go easy on me. Today's video, as you can see, we will be making a granny square hat. This is six panels. I do have my, my buns in, but this is what it looks like. I still didn't sew in and tie off the ends on the inside, which I will be doing. Um, I just hadn't gotten to that yet. If you click this video, you saw a bunch of these hats. That is from a pre-recorded video of like a market prep vlog, which by the time you see this, it should be out, but I have made a bunch of these and I love this colorway in particular so much that I'm making it again. I love like video tutorials, but I also love when they put the pattern up on the screen this is a pattern that I've made just by looking at a hat that was like this and it turned out how I wanted it to turn out so it was from a picture that I saw on Pinterest I'll put it up on the screen um, if that's important to y'all and I'll block out um, the face the person's face that it was on and if you don't want to follow along for the pattern on the screen I'm gonna put the pattern down below in the description box if you just rather do that because sometimes I just rather do that um, so yeah let's get started since it's six panels I've already prepped the first six squares what I'm gonna do today is do the first two squares with y'all first two granny squares and then we're gonna go into how I put the hat together and then the last steps that I do for the hat so first the first color that I use is red I'm gonna undo this for y'all I think I used, child, I forget. I think I used a, a 5.5 milliliter hook. Everything will be on the screen though for what I use. I feel like I used 5.5. Y'all, either way, it, okay, I forget, I forget which hook I used. It was either five or 5.5 milliliter hook. Um, I'm gonna go with the 5.5 because I like this color and I feel like I probably did the same thing because I like this color for the other hats. Just taking that as a sign and i am using this is medium for this is 100 percent acrylic yarn loops and threads this is the brand and um for all of these yarns and it is size four i'm gonna do a magic circle if you can't do a magic circle, I'm so sorry because I don't know how to teach that and it took a while for me to understand, but it's super easy. Yeah, I'm sorry if you don't know how to do a magic circle. When it comes to tutorials and I didn't know how to do a magic circle and then they would say, start off with a magic circle, I would go to the next tutorial because I didn't know how to do it. But I'm gonna just go ahead and do it the way that I do it. First, I'm gonna make a magic circle. And I'm gonna bring that first chain through and then I'm going to chain two more times and then into the magic circle I'm going to do three double crochets one two three and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do three more double crochets into the magic circle. One, two, three. I'm gonna chain again. And then pull the circle a little bit so I got more space. And then I'm going to, after that chain one, I'm going to do three more double crochets into the circle. One, two, three. Boop. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm gonna pull the circle a little bit so I can start to see the shape some more, but not too much because I still want to be able to, is it gonna focus? I still wanna be able to get into this little circle so I can chain my neck, no, so I can crochet my next three double crochets into this circle. So the last thing we're gonna do is another three double crochets into the circle. One, 
two, three, and then I'm going to chain one more time. And then right here was that um, after we made the magic circle, we ended up making one chain because that's what usually happens to make the magic circle. And I did plus two to start the chain. So into, so this is the first chain that we made. Okay. <laughs> So right here is where we're going to do a slip stitch. Right. And I'm hoping to, for the next one that I'm gonna do, the next granny square, that um, I'll be able to show y'all like another angle. So yeah, so we're gonna do a slip stitch into that. And then I'm going to pull the magic circle closed as much as I can. And what I'm going to do is try, once you do that chain in the middle of doing all the double crochets, it starts to make little gaps. So what I like to do so that I can have like a little marker um, and feel like I'm doing something is I like to pull on those, um, those first chains because it, it starts to open it up and do that granny square effect. So I'm going to take out my red, and it was just enough because I've already made this before. Um, I've already prepped my reds. And next I'm gonna go to my next color. And you don't have to change colors. This is just how I wanted to make this hat. So yeah. The next color I'm going to add in is hot pink. And from that slip stitch, the way that I change colors is just bringing in the next color through my hoop and making sure that I pull tight from the last color and I chain one, two. And from those two stitches I mean uh, yeah chaining two I'm gonna go into one of these holes that I was telling y'all about Can you see yeah I'm gonna go into one of these holes and I'm going to do three double crochets chain one and do three double crochets into the same hole so <laughs> one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same hole, two double crochet into the same hole, and three double crochet into the same hole. And now it's starting to get that square corner effect. And so for the next one, I'm gonna go to where I see my next little hole where I chained one for the first square and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did for this last one. So I'm gonna do three double crochets into this hole, chain one, and do another three double crochets into the same hole. So one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochet, and then chain one, one, and then three more into the same hole one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. All right, and now we've got our two corners of our granny square. Ooh la la. And the thing about granny squares is where you, where you do that extra chain, um, that is where, or whenever there's like a gap, that's where you're going to do your next crochets into and that's what will keep that border effect so I have two more of these gaps in the red part as y'all can see my thumbs coming through I have two more gaps down here and I'm going to continue to do the same thing that I've been doing the three double crochets chain one three double crochets so one double crochet two double crochet, three double crochet, chain one, 
and then one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. All right, and I'm going into my last one. my last one I've got one two three corners done and then I'm going to this is where I need to count how many I've already done because once you get to where you did your first slip stitch to close this red piece it sort of starts to get a little confusing because you can't see that hole that you need to um to crochet into sometimes just because it's a lot like going on down there so what I like to do is just count make sure I'm counting three um, crochets so because I know every three I'm supposed to put my hook in so one two can't see three and then I've got this gap right here so that's where I'm gonna finish up my corners so I'm gonna do the same thing three double crochets into the hole chain one three double crochets one two three chain one one two three Ooh, all right and then after that I need to close my granny square so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for the red color I'm going to find that first chain that I started and then I'm gonna go into the first hole after that to do my slip stitch so I chained one two and then into this hole I'm going to go and do my slip stitch and then I can cut this pink off because I'm going to my next color. So, yeah. All right, next, we're gonna go to light pink I have next. Also, this is a great way to like get rid of your scrap yarns. All right, next, I'm going to do the same thing from this slip stitch that I did. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the next pink in to my hook and bring it through. And I'm gonna pull on that hot pink so that they're, um, you know, I'm just gonna pull on the hot pink. All right, and then my light pink. And then I'm gonna chain two, one, two. And what I'm gonna do is, so I've got like these corners now. I've got these corners, which y'all can see. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do three double crochets into one corner, chain one, three double crochets into that same corner. And then that's how we make a corner. And when I first started doing the granny squares, I was concerned about all this space that I was missing and just skipping to right here. But for some reason it doesn't cave in like I thought it would. But so yeah, so I'm gonna do three double crochets two three chain one one two three all right and now we're starting to get that corner piece already cool and now what I'm gonna do, I know that I told y'all every corner you're gonna be putting something in, but also we have another gap right here. We're only gonna put three double crochets into this and then for every corner, we're gonna continue to do six double crochets total, but the three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. And um, when you're crocheting into that next blank space, that is just the side, not a corner. You don't need to chain, do anything. Just go ahead and start your next double crochet into that um, side piece. So I'm gonna do one double crochet, two double crochet, and then three double crochets. And then for my corner piece, I'm gonna do 
three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. Right. And honestly, y'all, I think at this point that y'all might get it because it's literally the same stitch all the way around. In total for my granny square hat, I chose to do five colors. So I did one, two, three. I have two more colors to go. And I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing with my light green and with my dark green. And I will come back once I have my two granny squares together. And then I'll show y'all how I connect them. For the sewing, I, for right now, I just like to use the same color that I ended with on the outer pieces of it. So that's what I'm about to use. I make sure that I cut enough yarn so that it covers at least um, the whole side that I'm trying to sew up. So say, if I wanted to sew this side, I would at least have it be this long and maybe like five inches after that. So. Yeah, just to be safe. And I'm just using one of these, like a, what is it called? Like I told y'all, I'm just gonna cut it to make sure that there's some on this side, just a little bit, and then a little bit afterwards. And so I'm just gonna cut right there. And then I'm going to add it to my little sewer thing. I don't know why I can't think of the name of this. I'll put it up on the screen, but for right now, I don't know. I'm gonna make sure both of my sides are pressed together, and I'm just going to go through. We got three on this side, three on this side. I'm going to, will it focus? Please focus, please focus. I'm gonna go through this hole right here. Or if you, if you, if you can't find that hole, y'all, honestly, just go through the, the bigger gap. It's, it's okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through the hole that I was telling y'all about. Will it focus? All right, so yep. And then I'm gonna go through the other side. I'm gonna just go straight through. Um, yeah. Oop. So now I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna make sure that I got like at least that much left. If you first started now, I would suggest going a little bit more unless you feel like you can handle it and yeah, so then I'm just gonna continue literally putting the needle, we'll call this a needle, I think it's called a needle. I'm gonna just put the needle through every single, um, every stitch that I made and match it up on the next side. So really, I'll just be putting the needle through and then pulling it through, putting it through, pulling it through. I just pulled it out. That's that's all I was saying. You probably need to start with some more. <laughs> One thing I would say when you're connecting these things is to not do it too tight because it starts to create, you pull too hard, then your stuff might start to sink in like this, if that makes sense. And personally, I don't like how that looks. When I first started connecting um, squares, like when I made my balaclavas earlier this year, they turned out in some spaces a uh, really like bunched together because my tension was too tight so yeah I just pull it through just enough I don't want it to be too tight and honestly y'all like you really don't have to do it that much um, especially if you're using the same color that you used for the end color it's like it's literally gonna blend in you're not even gonna notice so this is the hat all finished oh you guys um, well technically not all the way finished because I didn't sew in the ends, but if you want to, you can stop right here after you um, sew in all your ends and tie things up. The head is done. 
But one thing that I like to do is, that I've done with all the other ones, is just add a barrier or a brim. What's it called? Yeah, I just added a stitch along this whole thing, the whole bottom. And for this, I haven't tied the ends either. But I feel like it makes it a little bit more neat. And when I was telling y'all about tying these pieces too tight when you're sewing your ends in, I feel like adding that one single crochet around the brim, once all these are tied away, um, it just helps like make the hat a little bit more uniform. So you don't have to. I like to do it. But yeah, you guys, that's how to make the granny square cat hat if you have any questions please leave them down below and yeah also it can go like this too you can flip it up just a little bit just enough depending on what you're into so yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure you like subscribe do all that stuff and i will see you in another video bye